Hello, 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 everybody. It's Matt, and it is Maniac Monday, and I am back at you with yet another review. Before I roll on to any of that, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that lovely stuff, because life really is too short as is. Do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces. I know I'm here a lot, but, you know, I have an awful lot to review. And one last little tidbit of info, check out the description box. I give you your brief synopsis your starring cast, your director, runtime of the cut I am watching, along with a link for a trailer and a link for where you can purchase this bad boy. And if you decide, you can help support the channel and toss me a couple of bucks. It buys new stuff for the set. It buys it buys me a cup of coffee. It buys me new movies for, for, for reviews. It just it goes towards the channel every little bit that it can. Now that I got all that out of the way, let's roll on to the film of the day. And today's film is a doozy. It is a fun one. It came out back in 2020. It just now got a very, very cool, hip, neat, cool Blu-ray release from Mega City uh, Releasings. It is none other than the 2020 film known as Tapeworm or Tapeworm 2, as it is it is uh, known as. Um wow mega city did did a fantastic job with this um i am so excited that am sent this my way for me to watch um it is a blast from beginning to end granted it is only about 30 minutes it is a very short film but it is a very good short film they are currently working on tapeworms the uh the feature length version of this which I cannot wait. I think it's going to be epic, and I love that they added on um, a uh, for the special features. They added on a a uh, short film called The Killer Sandwich, which I I thought was very funny. I just watched that as well, and it is it, it is an absolute thrill. Now, what exactly is Tapeworms about? Tapeworm 2 is about a, uh, uh, oh, it starts off with a woman who is cleaning up a cup in, in the sink and doing little dishes and her nagging husband is in the other room watching television and he yells at her, hey, when are you going to bring me my drink? You know, one of those ordeals. Uh, why can't you do it yourself? She says, and his response is, well, what would I need you for? And so therefore she makes the drink sets it down, picks up a, a meat tenderizer, and decides to go on out to the uh, living room, and she smacks the back, uh, smacks the husband in the back of the head multiple times with it. In the process, you hear a loud commotion going on outside. You, She goes outside to go check, and there is a meteorite that is land, crash landed onto the earth, and there is a worm inside of it. And she takes the worm out, and she cuddles it up to her, puts it inside her robe, and is talking to it, petting it, coddling it, treating it like it's her baby. Fast forward and she she was running a bar and it is a nighttime and there is a band playing played by uh, Murder Monroe I believe is what their the band's name was was called. Um, there is a drunken drunken fool smashing all around and he smashes into a table and he's like, "Hey, do you like this band? If you like this band, I can get you their autograph for twenty dollars. You know things like that." Um, he, they, they're like, nah, dude, go away. Uh, he comes back shortly, right at, turns, turns around and comes right back. He says, okay, how about $10? And they're, they don't want anything of it. They get rid of him again. He, he is then, uh, um, uh, kicked out of the bar after a short while. And he is outside, uh, basically pleading with the bouncer to let him back into the bar. Uh, a cigarette happens to land right by the guy's foot, and the drunk, drunken fool decides he's going to piss on the guy's shoes. Bad idea. Uh, uh, it upsets the uh, the bouncer as it would upset anybody that just gets gets their feet pissed on by by a uh, random stranger, random drunken stranger on top of it. Um, he, he is then completely ejected and can no longer be there. 
so they uh, um, cut to a scene to a to an old man who is uh, going to buy some food because at this establishment they sell food. He wants a corn dog. They're all out. He asks for a chimichanga, as he says. Yeah, he said chimichanga, not chimichanga. But um, he, they're all out of those. All they have left is one of the uh, chef special, which is day old sushi. It's going for three dollars and ninety nine pennies. By the way, heck of a deal. But then again, it he gets it for free. Um. He uh, takes it and goes and eats it in his truck, and then you find, then you see him later, and he is staggering around, grabbing grabbing his belly in agony, and he goes up to where the dumpsters are, and he proceeds to pull down his trousers to take a massive diarrhea. Uh, this diarrhea is made of nothing but pure blood, um, and out. Uh, and then, then, then you go cut to our our uh, our main four people that that the the story follows around surround uh, follows around. They are leaving the bar after you have some nice little dialogue from them inside the bar talking and this and that. Um, they are going getting ready to go home. They come out and the guys Kia. Um, I believe it's one of those Kia Souls. I could be wrong. It, either way, it's a, it, it looks like a Kia. It's a little mini compact SUV type car. It's, it's, it's a, it's a little vehicle. Um, either way, um, uh, it's, um, got a flat tire and, uh, they, they, uh, uh, decide that they're going to have to hook it home and walk home because they call the cab services and there is no cabs available at said time. So then, then eventually they are attacked by these tapeworms. Um, one by one, they are taken out, um, eventually leading to one girl, one final girl, who fights fights the one guy that has one attached to him, kills him, attacks the tapeworm, and eventually she runs inside the bar asking for help. Um, she has a baseball bat in hand. As you can see here in the cover, she has a baseball bat. Uh, yes, but uh, um, the girl runs inside and the, uh, the uh, lady running the bar is like, oh, hey, is everything okay? da 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 da, -da. Um, and then she finds out about the worms and she's, oh, you didn't hurt them, did you? You didn't hurt them, did you? You know, uh, talking about the worms. And eventually there's, there, the girl wisens up like, oh, hey, you're part of this, of this business. Um, we, I'm going to call the cops. You stay away from me. If you come near me, I'm going to hurt you. One of those ordeals as she's swinging the baseball bat around in one hand and phone in the other. Um, eventually she gets herself chomped down by a giant tapeworm it is absolutely hilarious um and then it basically the the uh, older gal she cleans up the mess and another guy comes up and is asking for a corn dog uh all out of those all i got left or is the uh, chef special and if you read the board on the chef special it says it um Ingredients may contain peanuts and this, that, and eventually it says old tires, uh, batteries, and then eventually it says tapeworms. <laughs> so, um, I didn't notice that on the first viewing, but on the second viewing, I noticed that and I laughed. I laughed pretty heartily. I thought that was pretty good. Um, but, uh, <coughs> um, either way, um, end of movie that's how it basically ends right there it starts starts the sequence over um very very much fun i had a blast with this uh i laughed um i i i thought that that uh everything about this really f hit home with me uh, it is a perfect B movie. Um, it is a, a cheese schlock fest from beginning to end, and it feels like a '80s 
remake of a 50s movie, a 50s sci-fi film. That's how it feels like. So if you like something that, if that sounds like something that you would like, you will enjoy Tapeworm 2, or Tapeworm. Um, definitely get it from Mega City. They they know exactly what they're doing. Um, I will be doing a no, another um, release from them here, here on... Um, let me just double check my schedule. It's the inevitable, but I'll be doing that on the 24th. So look for that. Um, I also did uh, um, one from them, uh, one that Ams directed, and and that was that was the uh, was the Space Goblins, I believe is the name of that one. Um, that one was so much fun, so cool. I can't wait for the uh, the uh, feature length of that one. That one's going to be epic. Um, uh, and I also look forward to anything else that, that he sends my way because he definitely um, has a lot of films on his roster right now that look amazing. Um, Men in Suits looks like a... It looks amazing. Um, he's got Dard Divorce. He's got Sidling Hill. He's got Tapeworm. He's got Space Goblins. He's got... Um, uh, uh, the inevitable, and just so on and so forth. He, the shroud. Uh, the guy. The guy has a lot of amazing titles under his belt already, and he's got more to come. And it's just, I, I cannot wait to see what what Ams has come coming our way. Now, as far as on to the three things that I like my my movies to meet. Audio is perfect on this. It gets an A+. Plus. There is not one moment where I misunderstood a single word that was said. I could understand every word both times I watched this. I never once had to rewind it and turn up the volume to see to see uh, uh, what the hell was just said. Um, it works perfect on that end, uh, so I really like it. Now on to dialogue. Dialogue, this thing has fun, cool, hip, neat dialogue. It was made back in 2020, so it's still very fresh, very new. Uh, COVID era, so um, it, they did a good job uh, making this during that time. Um, I feel that uh, um, I want to see more from uh, Jake Perry. I think he is a, a fine director. Um, I just from watching this and then the uh, Killer Sandwich, I am I am all on board with his films. Uh, I think he definitely has a good vision, and I I want to I, de I definitely am curious what what else he has in store, uh, especially on on the uh, uh, the writing side. Um, because, uh, the writing on this is absolutely splendid and, and same with Killer Sandwich. Um, just, just because, uh, their short films doesn't mean, mean that, that the writing's going to be meager and boring and the dialogue's going to suck. Um, no, it, it's actually fun and hip and cool and it really knows what it's doing. I am an absolute, uh, fan of this, so... I'm going to give it an A-plus on the dialogue side. Now on to editing. Editing is absolutely uh, superb. There's no bad spots in here where there, where it, it makes cuts that don't make sense. Um, it stays on par with a good speed, a good pace from beginning to end. Um, it never takes its foot off of the gas. It definitely keeps it going on a nice, nice steady pace, and I really liked that. So definitely um, uh, check out Tapeworm, Tapeworm 2. Um, it is well, well, well worth your watch. Um, it's well worth the purchase. I think it's only like like $15 or $20. I think from Mega City, it's pretty cheap. Um, either way, you're going to get something. You're going to get great product. Uh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. So definitely um, uh, check this one out on the one, on my one through five scale. I'm going to give this a four point five out of five. It is well worth my. It was at least that's how it felt to me. I think it's that good. Um, it could have been better. It could have been worse. Um, it it uh, I, that's what makes me really excited to check out the feature length when that does drop. Um, because I'm curious to see what else they could add to this to make it even better. Because it really has a lot going on for it. It is, it is that damn good. 
All right, guys, I'm going to put this down tomorrow. Um, check out Backwoods with my good friend uh, Tristan. Uh, and then I'll also be doing a uh, – tomorrow's another double. I will be also doing American Ripper. And uh, uh, for those of you on my Facebook feed, uh, you got uh, the live uh, Facebook interview with the director of American Ripper. So definitely check that out. Um, I will be back uh, with you tomorrow. And as, uh, as always, have a fantastic rest of your day. And love your faces and peace out.